Michelle Cunningham. Hey, I'm excited to be here. I'm, I got a quick live for you and I'm talking about motivation. So I get it fired up. I, I'm so excited because so many things I'm excited about. But one of the best things was yesterday, someone sent me a video and she took a video of me like this and she put it on her TV and her two-year-old was watching it and pointing to me. And I was like, oh, and I showed it to my six-year-old and she was like, mom, you're on someone's TV. She's like, are you famous? And I was like, no, mommy's not famous. She's like, why are you on their TV? <laughs> it was like, they took my video and they put it on their TV. She was literally, my daughter thought I was so cool. And I was like, I am cool. Thank you. Anyway, so I wanted to talk to you really quickly about motivation, how to get fired back up if you're feeling off your game. And, and you know, I can speak to feeling off my game personally because I have a little health issue. It's fine. I'm going to be just fine. But I have autoimmune issues, right? And and for anybody who's an autoimmune warrior out there, you sometimes have days where you're like, oh, man, it's really like a mess today. It's a mess. So uh, I had this brilliant idea. I said to my doctor, we should lower my thyroid medication. I feel like I don't need it. Like I'm a superhero. And he's like, okay, try that. So I did. And that was a really bad idea. Because once I did that, right? Once I did that, you know what happened? My candida overgrowth came back. And I don't know if any of you have ever experienced candida overgrowth, but it is not pretty. And your whole body feels weak and you have like no energy. And the only way to make the candida go away is to eat zero sugar, zero caffeine, zero alcohol, and just eat vegetables and meat and not even any carbs or anything. <laughs> so that's what I've done. So if you're wondering why I look so glowing, it's right. It's because I'm hungry. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not hungry. I'm eating plenty of very, very healthy food. But a few days of doing this, as painful as it was, and I'm still going through it. I'm still doing it. I'm still doing, fighting the good fight with the candida. Um, as, as important as it is to follow that diet, like I just, I share this with you because, because like it's given me energy. Cause I'm like, oh man, you know what? It was tough for three days. It was really tough to give up my cold brew every morning. Really tough to give up my little glass of wine here and there, right? Tough to give up those things, but temporary pain for like, oh man, I'm at the end of this, I'm going to be able to feel so great. And I think that this same set of circumstances, we all have challenges in our life. We are all going to face difficult times, like all of us. And there's probably some of you that are going through some difficult times, right? And and it's always temporary and life always gets better. But I wanted to kind of give you my list of things that I'm doing to keep my spirits high and to keep me in action. I could sit back. I've read some people with candida. They're like, I was bedridden for nine months. I'm like, okay, that's a little dramatic. Okay. I don't think we need to be bedridden. I think we need to be moving. So I'm going to give you my, my list that you can apply to your business too, because I'm still running a business while this is going down and I got to still show up even though I'm like, oh man, I feel like that. But actually I feel a lot better today. I feel healing. I'm like, God, thank you, Jesus, Lord. I feel so much better. Uh, the last few days, I did not feel great. I, and I was like, I, I couldn't even go live because I'm like, I don't think I could fake feeling great. Although I might've faked yesterday. You might be able to tell. You might you might look and be like, yeah, you looked a little down. Um, my house cleaner was like, yeah, you look bad. I'm like, thank you. Thank you. That's very helpful. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> yes, I'm a sugar carb addict. Yeah, Ivana, I know. I know. And and uh, man, I just can't do sugar. I can't. I can do a little coconut sugar. I can do my grain-free cookies. But I ate some sweet Lauren's cookies. They came and I put them in a pan. And, and I was like, I will make these. They're gluten-free. No, I can't eat those. No, no, no. I can never eat those again in my whole life. I'm like mad at Sweet Lawrence. Just kidding. They were so good. It was so worth it. <laughs> so anyway, okay, so here's my number one on my list. I got how many things? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven things on my list. So number one, I believe the most important thing that keeps us in action is this right here. It's a vision. It's a vision for what you want your life to look like. And I posted something like that on my uh, on my Facebook today or yesterday. I can't remember because I have cloudy brain as part of this, Candida, which is hot. Uh, so, but either way, I posted this thing and this guy named Michael Rodriguez, who, uh, we've connected, he took one of my courses and then he tells me his updates and he's like starting to crush it in his short videos. And so I like to follow his journey. I, I, I get into all of your journeys when you share with me, I'm like, I go and see what you're doing. Cause I, I get, I get so many ideas from all the stuff that you do. And then it's stuff that I could share. Oh, look who's home from school. Daddy picked her up today. Mommy always picks her up, but today I had to, I had so many things to do. Hi baby. I miss you. I love you. Go look in the fridge. Go look in the fridge in the garage and come show what mommy got you. There's two things in there. Wait for this. Okay. So, but anyway, a vision keeps you. That's my new printer, by the way. My printer broke yesterday. And I was like, that's a blessing. I need a new printer anyway. I bro it's broken. And I, I built it in. The printer was built behind this these doors. 
because I assumed it would never break. So now I'm going to have to break this wall down to get the printer out. This is another funny story. I should film that as a video. But anyway, vision will keep you going no matter what, right? And if you have a mission with that vision, it's so important. Like my mission every day is I got to get up. I got to show up for my audience. I got to serve people. I got to love on them because I want them to live bigger and bolder and prouder and louder, right? Like that's like so what I do. So like I even feel guilty if I don't go live. So I'm like, I have, I have people I got to serve, right? So Think about what you do, the product you sell, how it can change lives. And if you're not showing up and giving it to people, that's a that's a sad for them. It's very sad. And so it's for others, like show up for others. If you can't do it for yourself, show up for your audience. Okay, so that's number one, vision and have a mission. Number two, water. I decided I wasn't drinking enough water. I do drink a lot of water, but I was like, nope, not enough. I bring two of these. I got bought two water bottles and I keep both of them full. They both just emptied. So as I'm saying this, these are both empty because I just drank them both. Uh, but but either way, keep them both around you at all times and drink copious amounts of water. Whatever you weigh divided by two, that's how many ounces you should be doing. So if you weigh 150 pounds divided by two, 75, what is that, ounces in water a day. So I don't even know. I just keep drinking until I feel not thirsty. All right. So that's number two on my list. But that's honestly given me so much energy while I'm fighting off like the virus that's attacking my body. Ugh. All right. Now, hey, has anyone ever else had a virus? I'd be curious. Autoimmune warriors out there. All right. Well, you've all had a virus. Candida, man. Ooh, we're a different breed. People that get this. All right, number three. Um, another one, this is important, and this is good for life. It's good for life because I'll tell you that clean food is life-giving, and I have a friend that she can only eat clean. Like, she can't eat anything but, like, clean, like, fruits and veggies and don't doesn't even eat meat. But that's all she can eat, but she looks at that as a blessing. And I think that the way that we look our, at our food can determine if we're going to succeed or going to fail. And when I read this one review from this girl who was like, I've had candida, it's ruining my life. And I've been bedridden. I've been broken with the meals I'm eating. I'm like, how about we change our thinking? Like, how about that's like, maybe not a good way to think about this. Like, right. If we're having health issues or if we're not feeling great, why don't we look at the food that we eat as God's gift? So today when I was eating an onion and a cucumber in the car. I was like, this is so good. It's like from God's earth. Like this is such good food and it's fueling my body. And that's, I believe, how we have to look at our food when we're on a limited diet. So for any of you that whether you're dieting or you're on a limited diet or you're on a forced candida diet or whatever it might be, look at your food as fuel and look at it as like a gift. And, and when I've changed my thinking about that, instead of being like, I can't eat anything, which I can't, uh, it's okay. I feel, I feel happy about the God food. All right. So change your thinking about food. Uh, so clean food, but veggies, fruits, I've been doing a little bit of meats. I've got a crying kid. Baby, what's wrong, honey? Daddy, I, I was going to have her bring those in here. What happened, honey? Yeah, she's going to bring it to her friend. I want her to come show. She can, those are for her. She can have bites of those, but she's going to bring one to her friends. She bypassed daddy. Daddy didn't know what the cakes were for. So he's like, you can't have those. <laughs> now we've got a situation. A situation. All right. Um, sorry, daddy didn't know I bought the cakes for the kids. All right. Number four on my list is <laughs> onion and a cucumber. I was actually at onion. I stopped at Lowe's. I'm like, this is great. They have a salad bar. So I'm like, salad bar is like my friend. So I've been going to the grocery store to get salad and I put everything on it that's salad-y, <laughs> like olives and banana peppers and cucumbers and what else is salady? Anything that's very salady. And oh, sunflower seeds, put that on it too. But yeah. And I'm like, this is so good. All right. Uh, number four, power hour, right? Sometimes we're not motivated. Do you know what? You can't get motivated without taking action. So you have to take action. So like take action, make a commitment that today I'm going to take an hour and I'm going to give it my all, whatever it is. There is one thing, there's a book called the one thing, but there's one thing you should be focused on every day that will move your business forward. Right? If you're in network marketing, I would assume that's reaching out to potential new clients, getting some new leads, or recruiting someone. Right, Those are the main focuses. Right, Depending on what you do, you know what your one thing is. What is one thing that's most important for your business? Do it for an hour. Do it like a, a looney tune for an hour. Me, when I used to send messages, I would send 100 a day. As a network marketer, I'd send 100 a day and I'd do it in an hour because I would send one every 15 seconds. I was looney tune. Yes, baby. She needs help. Okay, can you bring it to mommy? Please hold. Daddy's walked away. Yes. Well, they're for you, but I'm going to show you. Let's show everyone what I got you. Okay, here we go. Look at what I got. It. Come here, baby. You want to bring a little knife over? Mama will cut you a little piece. We got a little 
do you know why I bought this? Because I can't eat it. <laughs> so I'm like, I'll feed other people sugar. Because <gasps> I'm like, oh, doesn't that look good? And then, oh my gosh, aren't these so cute? They're so cute. Um, okay, do you want to get a little knife? I'm going to cut this one for you and you can bring this over when you go to Sienna's, okay? Is that some? You're eating it with her at her house. So you're going to eat it with her at her house. Did you have a bad day at school? Come here. Can you come sit with mama? Come here. Did you have a bad day at school? Yeah. Oh, honey, what happened? Oh, we had a bad day at school. Do you want to talk about it? Okay. I'll give you five, six, and seven. Did something happen? Did you get in trouble? No. Do you want to talk about it? Do you want me to finish my live and I'll talk to you about it in a sec? Okay. 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 Number five, love on your babies. Oh, they're so special. Do you want to, do you want, what do you need, baby? Okay. Do you want to get mommy a little knife and I'll cut this for you right now? Okay. We're having a rough day. She, if the teacher will say like, Alyssa, you forgot your backpack. <laughs> She's, and I got in trouble. She's so sweet. I was the same way. I hated getting in trouble. All right. Number five, you know what I do? I go look up motivational quotes when I'm having a moment of like, like, I don't, I can't think because my brain's been cloudy. I'm like, all right, just look up motivational quotes. So I looked up success quotes yesterday. Cause I'm like, I got nothing to offer the world. Looked up success quotes and I started to post them. Right. So even better, take a success quote, bring it over to word swag word. W O R D S W A G is an app. You can plug the quote in there, make it pretty and then post it on social media. And you've done it for the day. I got my post out and you can move on. So on the days where you're like, oh, I don't have a lot of time. I don't have a lot of motivation. Um, that is what you can do. Okay. You guys ready? Not two. One for me and one for Brady. One for you and one for Brady. Okay. We're going to cut some cake right here. You guys can Make see. Make sure it's even. Okay. All right. Let's go. Okay. Let's see. You guys want to see us cutting the cake? Here it is. Oh. Will that work? I can hold it. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. We're cutting the cake. All right. Oh, girl, does this look good? Were you excited I got you this little treat? The kid, today was the kid's last day of school. They're on break for four weeks because we go year round. So we're on a unique plan. You want to lift that plate up? That was so nice of you to get one for Brady, too. Okay. And then I'll scrape this extra frosting, this sugary goodness. I'll put it right there. Okay. I am Brady's. Oops, I got it on the rug. No big deal. I'll wipe it up. Okay. Back to our regularly scheduled show. Okay. I don't ever see Grant Cardone doing things like this in the middle, feeding cake. All right. Uh, number six on my list is, is do a live, right? When you're feeling down and out, just show up. Show up for others. Serve on them. Love them. I'm holding. I'm like, what do I do? I'm a mess. I got nothing. I'll just, I can't even lick it because it's poison. Uh, so do a live and pour joy into others. Just think about what you could do for your live. It could be something like this. Like if you're going through a challenging time, hey, why don't you go speak about it? Speak about it to others because you know what? That's relatable and that's real and that's going to help other people through something. So um, do a live and spread some joy to others and cut a cake in the middle of it and get it on the rug. All right. <laughs> Number seven, um, Go out and create a piece of content that you can share with the world. Make a YouTube video, make a reel, make anything. You know what I've been doing all day while I've been out? I literally have been, make sure it's even, Amy Womack. I know, I didn't cut it even. Someone got more frosting and she caught me on that. She's like, why, it, why does Brady's have more frosting? I'm like, don't give him that one. Let's be strategic. So while I've been out, I have just been snapping little videos like, I thought the grocery store was so pretty today. So I was taking, I thought these cakes were so cute. Oh, I ended up buying one. That's what happened. I thought they were so cute. So I took a little video and then I can add music to this later and add some words about like, enjoy the beauty of the world around you. I also thought the grocery store was like so cute. It was just the cutest grocery store here in North Carolina. Um, I, I took a picture of my kids being cute this morning. And so all of this, like, even if I don't feel amazing and I can't really think, I'm just creating content that I can use later, right? I, this all is like little things I can add words to in video and, and create content from later. So just think about in your low energy moments, you know what? Let's just film this moment. Let's just yes, film this yeah. moment because I can use it later. Is that good, girlfriend? That looks good. This chocolatey yumminess of yummy. Lulu, can you bring mommy a little tissue, baby? Thank you, baby. So um, word swag. Yeah, Amy, that's the one. I'll push on the screen. 
So Word Swag is an app. It's really easy because you can just put your words in there. You can change whatever color background you want. And what I do is I create it and then I hit back, back, back. I change the words, go forward, 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 and I save it to my camera roll, go back, back, back. It's really easy to just kind of work and create lots of stuff. Thank you, baby. Let me pick that up. All right. A little chocolate in the rug. Rub it in. Just smush it around. <laughs> Okay, she had a bad day. Oh, okay. Can I tell them what's happening at school? Sure. There's a kid at school that's copying her and he's being mean. So he's been saying stuff like, you have a crush on so-and-so. So it's turning our world upside what down. What did you say? Does he say you have a crush? Was that you or was that Brady? Do you say, does he say you have a crush on other people or you liked someone? Didn't he say that the other day? Okay. Got you doing it. Yay. Okay, I'll give away a copy of my book right now. Do it anyway, girl. These are all signed copies. I'm going to send one to somebody. If you can't get it from me, you can get it on Amazon. It's on Amazon. I want to say thank you to all of you who have left a review. I was like, I was like, I wrote that book and I'm like, I hope people like it. And then I read all the reviews every day and it just makes my heart dance. So I just appreciate you so much. I'm going to write another book and another book. I want to write a wacky book, like a weird, funny story book. So you'd be like, whoa, that's so weird. That's, that's so weird. <laughs> so, all right, I'm picking a winner. Lulu, do you want to come pick a winner? I have so much energy. I know. It's because um, I can only focus on being energetic because I can't eat anything. I'm eating cucumbers. Just kidding. I can eat. I can have steak. I can have salmon. I can have shrimp. I can Poppy. eat cucumbers and lettuce. Not too many carrots. Not tomatoes. Um, seeds. Okay, they want to pick a book. You ready? All right, here we go. And the winner is, tell me when to stop. 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 <gasps> Jennifer Dayton Simmons. I'm sending you my book, my friend. I'm sending you my book. Okay, here it is. Bum, bum, bum. There you go. Just text. Bum, 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 bum. Also, uh, I forgot to share the screen. Oh, I forgot to share the screen. Sorry, let me sh uh, share the screen. Sorry, I forgot to share the screen to show you that we actually picked you, but I did show her name on the screen so she can see. She was up here somewhere. I don't even know where it went. Just broke up. Lots of comments. Yeah, to me. Oh, I'm so um, nice. Alyssa has a little sty in her eye. She's had it for four weeks now. So now I don't know what to do. Now I got to go to the doctor. It won't go away. We've tried I'm to not warm. Going to the doctor. She's not going to the doctor. Does anybody know how to get rid of a sty in an eye? Uh, I tried the warm compress. I tried everything. It doesn't bother her one bit. But but anyway, that's my other thing. I got I to gotta call the doctor about that and figure out. Um, so... Oh, butternut squash. That's a good one. Yeah. If you have an idea for a vegetable to eat, let me know. I just made a big tray of asparagus and that's yummy. It's great. Uh, so I'm eating that. And uh, yeah. And and I surprisingly gave up caffeine because I had to and I didn't have a headache. I don't even know how it happened. I don't know what happened, but somehow I went to herbal tea. I make like copious amounts of like berry herbal tea and I make like really a lot and I put a little stevia in it because I can have a little bit of that. Not too much. But I drink that and I'm like, okay, okay. And I, it's been fine. So somehow I got over coffee and then I ordered in decaf coffee on backup, cold brew decaf coffee from a company called Wandering Bear, found it on Google. I was like, does anyone make a decaf cold brew? And they did. So make a tea. Yeah. So the, okay, green beans. Yeah. Okay. That's a good idea with a pesto sauce. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay. That's a good idea. And make tea out of fennel. Oh, okay. This is, we got to do this for her eye. Okay, fennel seed. I gotta go buy fennel seed. I gotta go to the store. Fennel seed. Okay. Let it cool and put it on your compress. Okay. Baby, she thinks that will make it go away, baby. What? Okay. Spaghetti. I'm we like is that the one that, that like pulls apart like spaghetti? Yeah, that's the run, right? There's butternut squash. Yes. Yes, Catherine. We love that. And Alyssa puts ragu on it and loves it. So I need to get some spaghetti squash. I think I might even have some in the fridge, to be honest. Hi, Tracy, my friend. Um, yeah, I know. Well, I had one last summer. I had to be live with it. I couldn't wear makeup. It was disastrous. It was not pretty. Mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Quinoa, I know. I can't have quinoa right now, but I can have mushrooms and spinach. That just sounds good, doesn't it? With a little bit of onions, a little bit of salt. That does sound good. Okay. So I'm going to try the fennel seed. Green tea bag. Okay. Arlene, I just shared my seven tips on how to get motivated. I'll do a quick summary for anyone who just joined. Okay, so here's the deal. Number one, 
You need to have a uh, a vision and be mission driven. When you are mission driven, you will show up and you will serve people. I'm trying to get rid of these banners. Sorry, a second. Okay. Um, hold on. Okay. Uh, you will have a vision for your life. Where do you want to be in five years? Have it written down on a piece of paper that you review daily that keeps you motivated, but also have a mission for your life. What is your mission and are you serving that mission? Are you serving those people for that mission, right? So I always get up every morning motivated to serve serve and serve and serve and love on people. Number two, drink a ton of water. Have two water bottles. Why have one when you can have two? I lose one upstairs and I got the other one downstairs. I should have four in rotation. Number three, clean food, veggies, fruits, meats. If you have to eat a clean diet, eat one. If you don't have to eat a clean diet, try to eat one, but it gives you energy. It gives you fuel. Number four, power hour. Take an hour to send a ton of messages. Okay, we're gonna send your message right now. I'm just doing two more points. Look up motivational quotes. Do a live, spread joy is number uh, number six. Do a live and spread joy with others. And number seven is create content that you can put out to the world and impact lives. So um, there's my tips for today, my friends. Uh, just a quick reminder, the 21 day branding challenge, the price is going up on Sunday. Where's my workbook? Oh, can you grab that on the ground, Bubba? Thank you, Angel. 21-day branding challenge. The price is going up, uh, and you will cry and be sad if the price goes up, so don't don't wait. Go to 21daybrandingchallenge.com. You get 120 pages. I completely and utterly over-delivered on that. I was talking to my team about it. They're like, no one else does that. I'm like, I know. I know. And they know because they work with all the other people, and they're like, why do you do all that? I'm like, because it's so nice. Isn't this so nice? So this is the awesomest script-driven workbook I've ever had. I give you reels examples to cr crush it as a direct seller or network marketer, how to make curiosity, how to sell more products online. I show you how to what interact with say? the comments that you get. Um, I was messaging daddy to see if he could pick up Zach. So anyway, there's so much jam packed in this and this starts on, um, April 25th. I'll be live with it. But when you do sign up, you get instant access to all of this training this is just grab it. It's it's right now it's only 27 bucks, but it's not going to be that way forever. It's going to go up to 37 and it's going to go up. So don't wait, just get it before then. So um, what ideas or will ideas be available later on Facebook since I missed the first few? Yeah, Cindy, absolutely. You can watch this replay. Once I click out, give it like two minutes and then it will be live. Okay. I got to go back to being a mom now. I've got to go. I got to go. I've got to go. So anyway, go to 21daybrandingchallenge.com. Um, Pamela, thanks, my friend. That makes me happy. Do you love my daughter? You can tell she's my daughter. I'm a single lady. I'm a single. I'm not single. I'm married. Um, okay. Uh, toss broccoli. Okay. Garlic. Okay. That's good. Oh, okay. I've been doing a little Parmesan. You know, I can't do too much dairy, but I'm doing a little. I get a little tummy up stick, but it's okay. I just, if I eat too much dairy, then I get breakouts and I don't ever get breakouts. So that, that's my balance there. So for any of you that have to do a strict diet and you need a therapist, just message me <laughs> because I get it. I understand. So anyway, um, all right. I love you guys so much. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day and uh, I'll see you real soon. Hiding current comment. There we go. 21daybrandingchallenge.com. Um, oh, and I'm going to film this episode. This is going to be an episode right here. This new printer will not fit. Look at this. Look at this. I had them build the printer in into the... <laughs> it wasn't very wise. I'm like, just hide it behind and build it in there. Because I assumed the printer would never break. But like logic would tell you that's not, that's not a good idea. It's not. It was not a good idea. What are you doing? <laughs> they, the kids love this. This bread on a stick stuff. I used to grow up on this. This is good stuff right here. All right. You want to eat some? Your brother was just tearing into this. Eat it because mommy can't eat it. Bye. I love you guys. Have a great day. You're so pretty. And I love you.